Welcome back to another edition of the Prospect Profile, a mini-series we do here within the Royals franchise where we go over top prospects from AA Northwest Arkansas up to AAA Omaha. Last time we were in AA to go over shortstop prospect Nicky Lopez. This time we are going to be staying in AA to go over our first pitcher of the Prospect Profiles, Foster Griffin. Griffin is a left-handed pitcher. He's one of those weirdos who throws lefty but bats righty. He stands six foot three, 200 pounds. He is 22 years old, drafted in the first round in 2014, 28th overall by Kansas City out of the first academy in Orlando, Florida, which I'm assuming is one of those prep schools that's like super well known for developing uh, high school athletes and just always has some stud prospect there. As far as Griffin's attributes go, he is a 66 overall B potential as it stands right now. According to MLB.com in real life, he is the Kansas City number 9 prospect, and there's a couple, I believe there's one or two pitchers rated higher than him, but in this, he is definitely our best pitching prospect. If not our best, he's like our second best, but he's definitely the closest to Major League ready of our pitching prospects. And Griffin really is just a finesse lefty. The guy is not going to overpower you with his fastball. His fastball usually only sits anywhere from like 91 to like 93. 92 is usually like the sweet spot it sits in. So, I mean, he's not like a Jason Vargas or somebody like that. He's not a Bartolo Colon. Obviously, it's not a lefty, but you know what I mean. He's not throwing like 87 out there as his fastball, but he's, he's not throwing 98 either, like the typical norm is to have in the major leagues today. So even though Foster Griffin currently is fourth in the Texas League in strikeouts, I don't think that's going to be his game heading into the majors when he eventually gets there. He's not going to be able to build a career on striking out 200 guys a season at the major league level. He's just not going to be that guy. He's going to have to rely on hitting his spots, getting a lot of ground outs, getting a lot of weak pop-ups. Just weak contact should be his game, and then maybe strikeouts, just being able to place pitches in certain locations. But he's not going to be a guy who just overpowers you with his stuff. He also has 79 stamina, so he does have the ability to go deep into ball games, which has definitely been shown throughout his AA career so far, as he's currently sitting third in innings pitched in the Texas League. He also limits walks. That's going to be a big part of his career, limiting walks. Uh, more so than striking out people, it's just going to be limiting base runners, as he's currently fourth in the Texas League in walks allowed. He's also 6th in ERA, so he's been one of the better pitchers throughout the AA Texas League so far in the season. I say so far in the season, but realistically, the AA season is almost over because they don't play all the way through September. Their season ends, I believe, like the first week of September or like the last week of August. It doesn't go as long as the Major League season, so I mean, they're basically rounding out their season, seeing if they, make a, seeing if they can make the playoffs here. And as far as how it felt to me using him on the mound, it definitely took me a few innings, a few batters to get really familiar with his pitches, because I'm used to just using like guys who blow away people with their stuff. Guys who throw 98 can just throw up fastballs right by people. But Foster Griffin definitely is not that guy. Like I said, he's a finesse lefty. So it took me a few innings to really get my uh, grasp of his repertoire. He's got a fastball, he's got a 12-6 curve, he's got a circle change, he's got a cutter. I found personally that his cutter is probably one of his best pitches. I don't know if that's how it is in real life, but it definitely felt that way when I was using him. I was using it running it in on hitters, and they were getting a lot of weak contact on that. I could definitely see that being a pitch that he uses a lot. Fastball, obviously, if you can spot it, is going to be a huge thing. That's always a big thing with finesse lefties, and also just their breaking stuff in general. Keeping people off balance with his cur with his changeup, and then possibly with the 12-6 uh, curve getting a few strikeouts here and there, or just being able to place it well and maybe induce a few ground outs with that. And that's pretty much going to wrap things up here for this edition of the Prospect Profile. Foster Griffin, the finesse lefty, down in double A. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I'm saying... Goodbye. Nice to be back, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, where are you from? Mr. 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 Mr.